Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Well, <laughs> I've got two pieces of totally unexpected Happy Mail today. Now this one, this whole flat one here, is, I know who this is from. This is from Snoppy in our Discord community. And I think this might be a little something for Finley, which she mentioned that she might send, but I didn't think it was going to be so soon. So I think that's what that is. I'll tell you about that as we go along. And then this, I have absolutely no idea. I know who it's from because it's got Uwe, Uwe what's in the box. So I know this is from my friend Johnny of Just Johnny Creations. Just Johnny. Oh, hang on, one side. Just Johnny Creations. <laughs> um, but we're not, because we do swap, we do what we call Uwe, what's in the box, a little, we exchange a box of craft supplies, uh, kind of every so often. Um, but I don't think that's what this is, because we haven't agreed to swap one, just, and we, <laughs> we've both got quite a lot on our plates at the minute. So I don't think it's there. I, I, I'm not sure. I'm totally not sure what to expect. I'm going to go into the, the one from uh, Snoppy first. Very exciting. Now, this is, because I think what this is, is um that if you're a regular viewer you might have seen that i did a couple of videos with my little grandson finley who was real sweet he is the first time he appeared on camera with me and he did such a fabulous job he was a real natural and he really really enjoyed making art with distressings and using stencils and things he was thrilled to bits of what he did did it almost completely by himself just needed a little nudge here and there you know and uh, and really enjoyed himself he was really happy he made a piece for himself and a piece for his sister and Snoppy had said she was um, inspired to have a go herself and um, and created something using I said oh I'll tell Finley because I'd be well chuffed about that and she said we can have it if you like so I said I bet you'd be thrilled to bits with that so I think I reckon that's what this is going to be but I can't be sure so I'm going to open it now but I, I won't be able to take it over to Finley until the weekend. I can't, I can't open, I can't go to the desk to open this because it's got Stompy's address on one side and mine on the other. Oh, I'm making a right pig's ear of that. Oh, it is, it is, because I've had a little peek at it. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, oh, I swear. Oh. How lovely she's because I said oh his sister might be jealous but I had been thinking well I owe his sister an art swap so I'll give her the art swap square when I give Finley's and then that'll take the edge off it but she's done another one for his sister as well these are beautiful have a look have a look oh how lovely I just think he's going to be thrilled to bits <laughs> so here we go two pictures for Finley and his sister so his sister's called Macy I hope he's not put off with the dandelion as it's a weed. But it's one of the strongest plants and also used in medicine. A plant to be admired, I think. I think so too. And I don't think any plant is a weed. We call it a weed because it grows where we don't want it to, you know. But um, weeds are usually the ones that, that, that thrive the best, aren't they? And as you say, there are medicinal properties with some of these so-called weeds. Um, and look at this. Just look. Oh. And this one's got sunflowers, which is my favorite. Oh, I'm gonna have, oh, I'm gonna have a struggle to part with these now. They're beautiful. Oh, they're gonna be made up with them. Soppy, thank you so much. Hang on, there's more on the inside here. Oh, there, Stanley. Please, could you pass on my two attempts at using stencils, which I hadn't really thought of doing until Finley inspired me to have a go. Oh, love that! I love that. <laughs> See the good pimples. <laughs> I have sprayed with a fixative, so fingers crossed. The extra one is for Finley's sister. Isn't it wonderful how we all share and inspire each other? That little light bulb starts to glow, and we all run with it. There's so many different results, and what a joy to see Finley loving the process. And you really must be proud of yourself for touching each one of us with your enthusiasm, excitement and your wonderful loving spirit. Oh, What I'm proud of, I'm just so proud of our community, the way this community is evol evolving um, on Facebook as well, but especially in Discord. It's just the way everybody's sharing their ideas and their inspiration and all being so kind and supportive to each other and we're all sparking these ideas 
off of one another it's just it's just blown me away honestly it just has given me a real sense of <laughs> people are going nuts now um a real sense of uh purpose and uh yeah to be just and i just think nothing is better than sharing that joy and creating with with kids as well something that they'll you know as their life gets you know moves on and gets busier and stuff they might drop all their you know their their love of art and crafts and things for a little while but they'll come back to it that's what I did I got busy and I just didn't have time when I was my kids were little and stuff but then you come back to it later and and I have very fond memories of times spent with my gran where she was teaching me to crochet or she used to buy me little painting books and things you know I really yeah she really helped and nurture my early interest in that kind of thing oh I that is so like I just know the kids are gonna love they're just gonna love this absolutely and now let's have a look at the actual pieces oh. now I think I'm right in saying that Snoppy was I think you know she's she's obviously done art before but she hadn't done any for quite a long time and she just recently started up again and sounded quite kind of oh you know not too sure but, but look at these pieces they are wonderful absolutely wonderful i'd be so i'd be so made if i have done these i'd be so chuffed i really would just look at this so oh <laughs> I'm going, I'm going a bit overexcited now. You can see all that stenciling in the background, and it is lovely. What that, and and that that moment of when you know when you lift a stencil and see you know, and I love the way she's laid lots of different ones here. And look at all the ink work here. I will make sure I point all of this out. <laughs> um, there's so much, so much work in here with the pen and ink. Look at that, and then lovely little touches of metallic there. And just the studies of the flowers themselves. I don't know what paint she's used. Is that, does she say, I think it looks like watercolour or maybe maybe gouache, I think. As I said. Oh, I just love it. I just love both of those. Absolutely beautiful. And I think it's really lovely to give a children a real, a proper piece of art. You know, this isn't kiddie art. It's not, you know it's a proper bit and I just think I just I really think they're going to be blown away by those I really do I think what I might have to do is wrap them up again and just film them on my phone God, look every time I look there's more detail look at the texture in there so I can get that up a little bit God, beautifully observed study of the dandelion as well I've got a soft spot for dandelions as well as daisies. They did, they will just grow anyway, won't they? You know, and things like buddleia grows like a weed. It used to go on the bomb sites, didn't it? Empty, empty derelict buildings and things. And it attracts all the butterflies and bees. They love it. Thank you so much, Karen. I, I just, I can't, I can't, um, yeah. And I know the kids in, in turn will be inspired by this as well. I know they will. I know they will. And of course, you know, Finley, Finley was inspired to have a go with the stencils. It wasn't what we were going to do that day. He wanted to have a go at stencils when he saw the, the distress inked backgrounds that Zoe, Zoe Hartist, sent me. <laughs> that inspired him to want to have a go at stencils. And then, of course, Karen watched, watched that video and she was inspired to get her stencils out. <laughs> Some really lovely stencils there as well. I love this one lovely thank you so much we put them carefully away in that envelope again now we're going to find out what's in this one so this was a box that originally i wrote this this is what i scribbled on the front of one of the boxes i sent johnny and we said we recycle the boxes and send them back and forth depends on you know what the activity is and how much you're sending if it is a new word what's in the box and i've got to come up with a new word for johnny well i have got a couple of ideas actually but we have got the Inspired by collab going on at the moment. Um, so Johnny and I are both involved in that. In fact, it was us that started it in the first place. So the Inspired by prompt this time is um, Halloween. You can join in with us. There were about 10 of us. We will reveal our pieces on the 30th of September. But you can join in by creating your whatever. It, could, it doesn't have to be painted, painting or drawing or sculpture. It could be 
you could make a doll you could make a, a halloween mask <laughs> you could um make a cake you could carve a pumpkin um you could take a photo you could write a poem anything as long as it's a creative response to the prompt which is halloween and if you if you do that post it on instagram or facebook or youtube use the hashtag inspired by art collab i'm going to put it here inspired by art collab and so that we can find it and you can post any time from now until say the middle of October when I will round everything up and do a video kind of showcasing all of your pieces so make sure you use that hashtag exactly as it was said there no spaces don't miss any letters out do it exactly as it had in there <laughs> otherwise I might miss you um and you can also you could post that in the Arti Fartiani group on Facebook or in the discord community i will put my link tree in the description box so you can find your way there um if you go into the discord community there's a special inspired by room and you can post it in there then you don't need to use the hashtag i think johnny added, i think i put that on johnny added this when he sent it back the first time. i can't remember i can't even remember now did he do this one and then I elaborate? I don't know. We just <laughs> add a little bit to it each time and send it back and forth. Okay, let's put let's put everyone out of suspense. What on earth is Johnny sending me? It could be anything knowing him. <laughs> Lovely tissue, save the tissue, save the tissue. Oh my god. Johnny, but well, it definitely is an Uwe box, isn't it? Because this is a. So the the idea of the Uwe box is that we send each other a, a box of mystery craft supplies that will kind of all work together. The budget is supposed to be ten pounds, and I'm just looking at this and thinking pyrography and thinking surely this is way over ten pounds. Johnny, what have you done? There's a piece of wood there. There's a mystery. Oh, I love the smell of that. Woody smell. Okay, let's go in here. There must be a note or something here. So, yeah, here's a note. Let's look at the note. It's, got, it's a new word box. Oh, I didn't even know we would agreed to do another one yet. Oh my God. I need to get his together really quick. I have got, well, I've got two ideas. I need to just settle on which idea I'm going to go with. Ooh, uh, Annie, what's in the box this month? <laughs> Find your inner fire starter and burn some things. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pyrography, writing with fire. <laughs> sort of did my research this time. There was a bigger piece of wood in the kit, but it wouldn't fit in the box. But an old wooden chopping board would work fine. I guess I'll find something. I've got bits of wood, definitely. Oh, your prompt for this month is destructive forces. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the free gift wedged into the bottom of the box with force. So get creative. Oh my God. Thank you, Johnny. I feel like he's uh, he must have gone outside the £10 budget, surely. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Normally, we talk to each other before we send these Uwe boxes off. We kind of go, oh, is it time for another Uwe Uwe box? Are you ready for another one? <laughs> You're going to be waiting a few days for yours, Johnny. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's been such a lot going on. I haven't even given it a thought, to be honest. Oh, these are all the different kind of heads to go on that tool, aren't they? Kit contains. So simply make. Do cross simply make. Kit contains pyrography tool and stand. Large wood chopping board. Small tapas. So that's the tapas board. Alphabet stencil. Everything you need. How exciting! I love playing with fire. <laughs> Not that you actually get a flame, do you? I know that. Oh, the different um, heads. <gasps> wow! There's the stencil. It's a nice sturdy stencil, actually. Wow! I'm thinking there must be some kind of instruction. Oh yeah, instructions. Okay, let's have a look at that. Oh my God! Heat drink and be merry. <laughs> Planning. Turning on the tool, getting started, switching attachments. 
This is going off again. When switching the tool attachments, turn off the tool, rest it on the stand, and let it cool completely before touching. It takes about five minutes. That's the kind of thing I'll forget. <laughs> Finishing touches, aftercare. Oh, amazing. Now, I won't say it's something I've always wanted to have a go at because I haven't really given it a lot of thought. I have seen some amazing things done. I watched, um, it was Tori, she was doing an owl the other day funny enough Tori doing an owl and she used um she, she used pyro pyrography to make the outline but then she added color as well and I thought that looked amazing so I might do that and what is it this is the free gift Ooh. oh look that's one of my own stickers come back to me now <laughs> with um I reckon that's one of Ziggy's hairs on there yep that looks like a Ziggy hair <laughs> so what is this let's put the box that way that box will get used again 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 oh my god <laughs> i've got such a long list of things to do <laughs> that one's gonna have to nudge its way up a little bit this can't be a whole brand new surely not a whole brand new paper gang box johnny I think it is. Well, the little free gift is meant to be a little something, not, a, not. A, oh my god! Gone a bit overwhelmed all of a sudden again now. Good grief! Emotional incompetence, incompetence, incontinence, emotional incontinence. Oh, my god. I've never had a paper gun box actually. Oh, hang on, I need to pull myself together a minute. Wait a minute. Like opening it from scratch it's like i don't think he's even opened it it's not sealed up but look it's like they've never even taken the tape off it i've seen johnny open lots of these he does lots of so check out johnny's channel if you haven't already i put i know i put it up earlier on on the on the screen but um i'll put i'll link it below as well obviously so uh, check him out because he does <laughs> he's so fun he's so entertaining to listen to he does some amazing creative projects which are really inspiring and also he does a lot of unboxings um so he he, he gets all sorts of stationary boxes and art supplies and books and things and if you're lucky you get a guest appearance from ziggy's cat love this paper i'm still half expecting this to be a joke as he put something else in there no oh my god Good. Oh. oh look a lovely stamping oh Ooh, his pimples are back four sticker sheets nice oh and these postcards that look like look like stamps almost sort of thinking I might incorporate them into my art book because I can imagine them as pages birthday card that's handy to keep in and, a, and a any occasion card ah no i've seen this before i think he must have sent me a couple of he must have had some of this before and he sent me a couple of sheets oh it's got a golden edge because i've just finished using up he'd sent me a few sheets of these with something and i just finished using them they are quite handy little things to do planning on as well i can plan i can, <laughs> I can plan all many many things over <laughs> course I've got to do oh, and a nice pen. Oh, it's pink. It writes pink. And some inks to stamp with. Oh. I'll stamp those out in a minute. Let's put this out. Should we put this out? Oh, look at this fish. I love the fish. I'll do the fish in that colour. Oh, nice. Oh. And those will get, those will get better, those stamps. These um, rubber stamps are really good, actually. And they'll, they'll last for ages and ages and ages. They are really good. Cool. Talk about spoilt rotten on a day when I wasn't expecting anything at all. <laughs> that is fantastic. I need to make a little thumbnail up now. I think last time I went over budget and he didn't, and this time he's back to going over budget again. 
Cool, I can't wait to have a go at pyrography though. How exciting. And definitely, yet again, you've come up with something I haven't tried before. I think the last one was the last one, the quilling. The last one was quilling, and I really got into that as well, actually. Oh, pyrography. My mind is spinning now. <laughs> oh, you know what I could do? Oh, let's come back up here again now. I've got my thumbnail. Actually, I need to take my face out of the way for the thumbnail. Let's just... What I could do... It's a little piece of pyrography for um, one of the prompts in the Artifartoba list. Um, so that's coming up really soon. So that's it's like an alternative prompt list for Inktober. Um, I'll leave links to you can find that in the Discord community and on, in the uh, Artifartiani group on Facebook. So again, link link tree will be in the description box so you can find your way there and the prompt list is there it's a lovely prompt list i didn't come up with it myself i didn't even come up with the idea of doing it myself <laughs> but three of the lovely ladies in our discord community um, came up with the idea collated everybody's suggestions and things and put it all together and made it look beautiful and i honestly think it's one of the best prompt lists i've seen and i can't wait it's really inspired me to do the whole thing again this year and but i'm not going to be we we don't care what media you use. You could stitch if you like, and if you don't want to do um, drawing or painting, you can do whatever you like. I'm going to do a bit of everything. I would do a little bit of stitching. There's even something I'm going to crochet. <laughs> what I'll do is I'll also link to the video where I was talking about um, Artifartober, so you can you can see about some of the ideas that I started sketching out for that. But now I've got this in my mind, and I'm thinking one of the other prompts I could do a bit of pyrography. Perfect. And I'll have to have a look through the prompts and see if one of them would be especially perfect for pyrography. How exciting. And I'm thinking it could work, maybe it could work quite well together with, I've also got a mini lathe, which I have seriously underused, um, that I could make some little gifty things for Christmas. And I could also, I could, maybe I could personalise them with pyrography. Oh, how exciting. Thank you, Johnny. That is such a brilliant idea. I didn't know we were ready for another Uwe yet, so I will get yours sorted as soon as possible. Hopefully I'll get it off to you within... Well, I have to get it to me and then off to you again, so hopefully by the end of this week. So uh, I, I think I, I think I know which one I'm going to go for. I've got, I've got two ideas waiting in the wings. I think I know which one I'm going to go for. OK, thank you very much again to Johnny and thank you to Snobby Karen <laughs> as well. Fenny and Macy are going to be made up with those. And uh, thank you to everybody watching for joining me today and I'll see you again really soon. Bye. <laughs>